What's up you guys? Me side back with another video. Today we have a special arrival. I'm not sure if you guys have been watching my bike videos. So I'm gonna make this a bike video channel as well or make it whatever I'm working on. I know you guys haven't seen BMW videos lately but we're coming to fall so I need to do some type of content. So uh, I've been working my way up to telling you guys about this package. I told you guys I sent my fender flares out for some hydro dipping. I wanted to do it myself, but I'm like, Ugh, I want this done and be able to enjoy for the last few seasons before, I mean, for the last few months before snow hits, right? So it got here today. I'm not sure if I overpaid or not, but I'll put somewhere on the screen how much I paid. Uh, there are some other pieces on the bike that I want to hydro dip, but I think I'm gonna attempt to do those myself. Uh, just because it's something I can do during the winter time, okay? So let's unbox this and see how they look. Package really nice considering I sent him the fender flares originally in just like an envelope, flat rate envelope from the post office. So that was really. Um, really. What word am I trying to use? It shows care, you know? So, Plus, like, he did, probably didn't want to be responsible for any damage after doing all this hard work on the fender flare. So it's nice that he packages in this package it in this box. So it was uh, twenty three dollars a ship. Man, that's expensive. I'm a cheapskate too, especially since it's a three hour drive. We're looking to drive there, but uh, let's take a look. Package really nice. A lot of styrofoam and I'm excited for these. I didn't I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep them like a matte carbon fiber or shiny. I'm like I just told them to do whatever. So let's take a look. I've never had anything hydro dip before. So this is the first time I'm seeing how something like this looks. Wow, this looks really good, you guys. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, let me take you guys to the window. Stay here, is it? This is how it looks. Little bit of dust in the in the material, I'm, and that might be in the clear. Not so bad. I'm not picky. It's going on like a e-bike. It's not going on like a supercar or anything like that. Super nice. You see that? Most people that know carbon fiber are is gonna know this isn't real carbon fiber. But for hydro dipping, man, that looks amazing. Let's go get the. I'm not sure if this is rear fender or front fender. Let's get the other fender to show you guys. So this is the front, which is nice. I don't like the line. This is how the fender flares come from the factory, the line. Makes it look weird almost. I should have left the, the line part flat, like a matte black and maybe carbon fiber the rest, but it's okay. And even leave this black because I feel like it's a little bit too much carbon fiber. What do you guys think? The gloss is beautiful. You can see some distortion right here, but really nice. I can't wait to put them on the car. Look at that. This is how they look. Beautiful. You can see the distortion right there. Like I said, I don't know what how much hydro dipping goes for really, but ah uh, man, he drip right here. You see where he dripped? It's not 
good. I don't like that, you guys. This is not a collaborate video or anything. I didn't get this done for free. Paid my own money. I mean, it looked like he kind of sanded in it and buffed it. I can do a little bit more. I just don't know how much clear coat is on there to even be doing that. Um, so yeah, excited to put these back on because the car, the bike's been without fender flares for a long time, so. All right, guys, I wanna show you the front. I haven't really mounted on yet, but uh, yeah. Sucks that I need to take this back wheel off just to put the fender flares in, but I'm gonna do that now. Before we do that, I wanna show you guys the camera. If you haven't watched my uh, Amazon rear camera, installation and review make sure you watch that this is how it looks now what i did was i cut the entire bracket off because it was for these handlebars and i just jp weld a bolt on it because with this bike though you know these kits are designed for normal bikes with smaller door with smaller diameter tubes and this is oval shaped so I, I couldn't get it to fit anywhere so i put it bolt at the end of it and then I JB welded it and then I plan on putting it right here by the tail light so I can see a wider wider view on it let me install this real quick I mean let me plug the camera in so you guys can see how wide the camera is now see there my hand before the camera was all the way down here this is the only place i can fit it and i can barely see anything if anything at night i could see lights coming my way but now i can actually see cars coming my way so just want to show you guys that and then i guess we're gonna get started oh i also bought this stand from amazon i don't know how i feel about it it's probably not designed for an e-bike this heavy but it's holding up not I just I'm just afraid it might break or anything it's built pretty good though I don't think it's gonna go anywhere but you know these things are designed for regular bikes but let's get this back wheel off and get the fender flare installed All right, here's the final result. Let me flip the camera around. Wish I can give you a better day, but pause here. It's not gonna get any better. Yes, the birds are always chirping loud in every single video. Missed this bike with the fender flares. Really nice. This is where he ran. Let's see that run. He, if he was honest about it, I, I wouldn't really be that like upset about it. Hey, I ran a little bit just to let you know. But sent it like that. It is what it is, you guys. You know how I feel about things lately with 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 people. I pay to do stuff like that red car right there. This is why I rather do things to myself because if I messed up. You know, I'm not worried about because I'm not paying myself to do it, you know? But let me know what you guys think of the fender flares. Carbon fiber. I want I want to do this front uh, windshield that I got for it too, which is cool. I can't wait to get the little storage luggage thing right here to add to it. And then here's the back camera mount we did. Uh, I was going to go for a ride, but it looks like it's going to rain. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, you guys. More customization. Not coming soon because I probably won't be working or riding this when it starts to snow here. So, if anything, I'll start buying parts. Um, next thing I want to do is probably create a seat cover for this. Was a fan of this at first, but I kind of want it like cow print or something. Fake cow print. Something cool looking to amp up the bike style a little bit. But thinking about taking this shock off.
because it is low, I feel comfortable riding, I can get my feet on the ground, but, you know, there are some big bumps out there on the way to work every day, and it's just, it doesn't absorb as nice, and I don't want all that pressure going on to the mag wheels or the frame bending or anything like that, so I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the 150 millimeter back on, because that felt a lot comfortable, so in this video here hopefully you guys enjoy it until the next one